Hi there. In this video we will be taking a quick look and do some tests uh, on this uh, crucial P3 4TB uh, M.2 NVMe SSD. So first thing first, uh, I didn't buy this from a reputable seller and I don't recommend you do what I did. Uh, a friend of mine, so not even me personal, uh, personally, a friend of mine helped me and bought this from somebody in a completely different city at the other end of uh, our country from uh, a random dude. So hopefully we actually have the proper SSD inside. I never understand how some people uh, get their hands on uh, on cheap uh, computer parts that are new. So basically my friend unsealed this because he said, man, I needed to check uh, and see if there's actually an SSD inside. So this was less than half price uh, of what I would have paid from a store, but I don't have warranty on it. So there's that. Uh, I don't think eh, the speed up to so I cannot really give you that much info on it uh, but we will see in tests what this uh, little guy can do and up until now at least what's written in here we seem to have uh, what we thought we will have which is good I hope <laughs> anyway, the guy had good reviews, but there's always a bit of a risk when doing something like this and going uh, off into the un unknown. Let me take a look. If it would be China special, you would kind of see it. Number of uh, chips seems to be okay. Not much on the second side. Okay, hopefully we are good. Text is the text good quality. This is where Chinese fail most times. Weirdly enough, yeah, text is good quality. Hopefully we have the proper thing in here. So uh, let's install it in, in the laptop. They also included a little screw to hold it down in case it's missing from your device. But I think we have it in this one, I think. Let's put the P3 in. And honestly, you don't need to say it. I'm kind of amazed on how dumb this uh, solution is. But uh, I'm still going to do this. And now looking at it, honestly, it's about the same kind of pressure as the other one. So basically a bit of that pressure is actually the connector itself. So yeah, might uh, be even better than I initially thought. Let's just put a screw in here. And what I noticed that these screws don't actually hold it perfectly in place. So they don't necessarily tighten it. They just kind of make sure it stays there, but they are not tightening it a lot. And I'm doing this a second time because first time my phone stopped recording because the memory got full. It seems 128 gigabytes isn't enough anymore these days when you have lots of apps installed and you also use your phone to film for YouTube. Awesome. So doing this again, I deleted the partition. I'm, I'm creating it again for you. E letter, that's okay. NTFS default, yep, no volume. New volume, sorry, let's say just 4 TB. Quick format, that's okay. And finish. And uh, I think we're done. Yep, we're done. Here we have it. So let's do some speed test on this one and on the one terabyte one, because on the SATA we know the limit, about 530 megs. But uh, maybe you cannot properly, no, 
phone unable to pick up it's too much light let me move to something else that's the one if you want to see this info they uh, probably have their own data transfer software i use mine which i already know let's give a test on d drive is it no not d drive e drive jesus okay so let's see what kind of speed we get and we got our result and from what i can see i will make a snip of it the limiting factor was never the ssd in my laptop at least it was uh, the laptop itself the connection to the ssd because i will now do the test on the c drive the one terabyte and most likely we will get quite similar values so my laptop cannot really test this ssd sorry about that test on the one terabyte system drive finished yes the values are a bit uh, lower but not by a bunch so the difference is uh, relatively small between them let me try and put them one next to the other so uh, yeah okay i guess my pc my laptop is the limiting factor so all i can say about the drive up until now it works for me it's more for storage for fast storage because i could have put an, a 2.5 inch hard drive in this laptop but that wasn't the point it was too slow but uh, yeah i don't need speed, speeds higher than this for what i'm doing just editing youtube videos and uh, yeah we'll get back to you if i see any issues whatsoever uh, in time up until now temperature let me see which one of them so this is the one terabyte this is the 500 uh, gigs uh, 2.5 inch from my laptop and this is uh, the big one i don't think the temperature is too high at least uh, for it uh, basically not doing much at the moment we just did a test on it prior but i will see if in time the temperature gets higher than this although i don't think so so I'll get back to you just with my impressions of how this uh, fares uh, over time. As you can see, NVM Express, so NVMe 1.4, the Kingston has 1.3, but uh, yeah, it seems we are not getting the, the full speed out of it. So there's that, we'll continue later. Doing some testing, as you can see, I copied once a 3.5 gig file and then the same file I just changed and put a 2 in the name, not at the end by mistake, and copy it again. As you can see, speeds are extremely low because the cache got full. And after a while copying something even bigger with high speeds. Change the name and copying again, this time it stays quite stable but now it begins to plummet. So it like it has a part of the drive which is really fast and I don't think it's only the cache because it's quite big it has a few gigs and if that gets full and it hasn't time it doesn't have time to flush it to the slower part of the drive you'll get stuff like this and this really sucks but again for what I'm using it mostly storage and uh, I need to read it li really fast it's okay so I if you are okay with this that's about it hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye